Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? I am back in the mystery tackle box house right now. And, uh, yep, no one's here. No one else is here. Just here by myself. Peric, Peric is still lost in Asia. John, John's doing John things. Rob is out fishing the tur on uh, the ET tour. And, uh, Rackley's with his wife doing Rackley things. So, I'm here. I just landed. Literally just, just got here. Uber here. And, uh, speaking of Uber, you'll hear about that later. But, um... I got here, and I've got something to show you guys. Let me get some lights on it. I feel like it's dark. There are some lights. I've got something to show you guys. Now, this is something I and Winston over at Favorite Rods has worked on for over a year. Like, we had this meeting February of 2017 is when I designed this rod, and it's finally here. It is finally here. This has been the hardest product to make. I, ha I had this vision. And it was to make an all-around, the best all-around rod that I could make for for the money. And uh, and it's here, and I'm super excited because I'm gonna take it out today. And I I have tested prototypes, but like this is like the final production that you guys would buy at home. So I'm gonna test it out today, see how I like it. But this is it right here. Are you guys ready for this? First off, we got like a trillion rods over here. Now this may be old news to you guys if you watched Rob's video. He already went through this, but this right here, right here, right. There, right here. Yep, there it is. There it is. The Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. But there's a difference, okay? Uh, the difference between this one and the original, which we still have, the original Flare, Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. This guy right here is an all-around rod. You can do everything with it. And I'm gonna try to prove that today and just, you know, throughout the, the entire rest of the season. But basically the specs on it is seven foot two inches, so it's an inch shorter than the bigger fro Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. And it's a medium heavy. The other one is an X heavy. This one's a medium heavy. Now, you might be thinking frog and flipping, you don't use a medium heavy. You might be surprised, okay? Now, if you're fi fishing like Okeechobee thick mats, that's not going to be your best bet. Your best bet is going to be the 7.3 X heavy flares frog and flipping stick. But if you're looking, if you don't want to buy a rod that's technique specific down to just a handful of things um like kind of like the flare frog and flip stick i mean it's just a meat stick like if you're wanting something for chatter baits maybe some finesse some for some lighter jig stuff like that okay that's what this rod's for it's actually two-piece so you can even travel with it so a lot of you guys have been requesting this is getting a two-piece rod so you guys may not have a truck maybe you just have a car you can't fit the, the rods in the car maybe you travel whatever the excuse is kayak fishermen love these and so this rod is seven foot two inch medium heavy two-piece so you can do everything with it and again like i said i'm going to show that to you guys today i'm going to take it out fishing but then i'm also going to show just throughout the rest of the season and i will link it down below if you guys want it also, all of John B's and Lunkers TV and AP Bassing and LFG's rods are all in stock right now for a limited time. I'm sure they're going to run out of stock. They always do. Use code GUGAN10. You get 10% off your order and free shipping, but it ends this Friday, like as in like a day or so. So if you guys want any favorite rods, whether it's mine or Rob's or uh, John B's or LFG's or Parrick's or anybody's, you get 10% off plus free shipping for like the next day or so, depending on when you're watching this. Again, links down below. That's that. That's kind of my spiel right now. I'm super excited to use this rod. So freaking excited. But I have one small problem, okay? I'm headed to East Texas tonight, and my truck needs an oil change. So I don't want to drive it all the way across the state with no, with no oil, because obviously that's not good for the engine. So I got to get an oil change, but I don't have time to like get an oil change and then go fishing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my truck to the dealership, get the oil change, and as I'm at the dealership, I'm going to take my travel rod and uh, just a handful of baits and then Uber to a fishing spot that I've never been to before. This is gonna be the bass fishing Uber challenge or something. Stay tuned. Well, I'm here getting, I just dropped my, dropped my truck off, waiting for the Uber, it says four minutes. Four minutes away and we gotta do a fishing challenge before my truck is done getting oil change, which I just saw them take it back to the shop. So it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of a challenge. The Uber bass fishing challenge starts right now. A few moments later. Thank you. Well, I made it to I what I believe is the the first spot here. I've got a we got a rig up. So this is this is where this is where I'm at right now. And actually a subscriber named Connor gave me this spot today. 
he saw that I was coming to Dallas and he, he dropped a pin for me and told me to go check this place out. So that's where I'm at. I, I've never been here before. I have no idea if there's even bass in here. Connor said, go check out, go check out a fire spot. So I'm gonna rig up, rig up the new rod. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the, the new flare stick. That's the, uh, the two piece, the one that I think is gonna be the best all around rod for the money hands down you might be wondering what bait i think i'm gonna start with i'm thinking i'm thinking the old go-to oh my god is that a bass whoa 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 dude i not i see a five pounder right there it's looking right at me whoa this is tripping me out folks that may be not be five that's probably like a three and a half or four well i was just gonna say i'm gonna go into a sanko there's literally a fish right there i don't i don't think you guys can see it let me get rigged up and see if i can catch this thing what? Literally a freaking bass just swam right up next to me. Right up here in this corner. All right. All right, this could get interesting, folks. Now, since the water is so clear, I'm going with the natural green pumpkin. You could definitely do watermelon, but green pumpkin, red flake, that's, that's one of my favorite go-tos here. So we're gonna rig this guy up. My friend, my fish, my, my big fish down there, I don't know where he swam off to, but he's, he can't be too far away. Tie the old flipty flipty floop knot. Just made that up. I don't know where I don't know where that fish went, but he's like I said, he can't be too far. The water is ultra clear, so I'm gonna be careful kind of going down there and moving my way around this spot. But that's what we're gonna roll with today. A little T rig Stanko, I know. You guys have never seen me throw the Stanko once. First time ever using this tactic. First time using the final production model flare stick. Okay, well, this fish just literally wants nothing to do with my bait. I don't know if he's just been caught before. Um, but it's not locking on a bed by any means. I don't know. I'm not sure what this fish wants, but it doesn't want my Stanko. That's all I know. I just saw my second fish. They are so skittish here. Water is literally like drinking water clear. So I'm guessing if this spot is known that they probably get hammered. Dude, there's fish loaded. That's another fish. There's, these fish are seriously so loaded in here. But every single time I throw at them with a Senko, they freak out, which that's like the most subtle thing you can get. I've never seen a fish run from a Senko so fast in my life. Holy shit. Oh my God, did you guys just see that snake? Holy, oh hell no. Oh my God, there's another one. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. I don't mess with snakes. Oh God, that has me. There was two of them. Oh, no, me and snakes, no, 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 no. I, okay, I'm out. I think I just have to fish from back here. There, that, I heard one over there, but never saw it. I didn't think it was a snake. Just saw two snakes and about stepped on the one. No way in hell I'm going in these bushes anymore. No way. I'm staying in this clean cut grass where I can see where my feet are. Now there's nothing that's gonna freaking kill me. Oh, she ate it. She let it go. She let it go. I could have set the freaking hook. I should have. That's all right, switch up. Here we go. Taking the Senko off, going with more of a bed fishing bait because uh, that's basically what these fish are doing. I'm sight fishing them. That one just grabbed the whole entire back of it and it's probably three and a half, four pounder. So we're gonna make them Cardi B money move here and switch up. Now I didn't pack a lot of tackle, obviously. I didn't want to load my uh, Uber up looking like a freaking Bass Pro Shops truck. So, all right, for my bait of choice, I think I'm gonna go with a little craw action. Something that has a lot of movement it's always key, like when you're bed fishing, you just want it to make it, make, you want to make it look like it's doing something down on their bed or something. If it's doing something, it's going to be pissing them off. So this little craw has some decent action. And the other key when you're bed fishing is you want to have the hook as far back in the bait as you possibly can. So you want to run it all the way back. Sometimes you can take a little bite off, but a lot of times these fish are just going to grab the pinchers here. So you want to try to, uh, to avoid them just grabbing the pinchers and you not being able to actually hook the fish. But that's gonna be it. That's gonna that's gonna do it, folks. I'm calling it right now. Calling the shot. It's gonna catch this fish. All right, here we go. Where's the fish? Oh, 
Don't step on any snakes. I think I know where the, the sweet spot is too, where they don't want the bait. There, there they come. First cast. Got him, got him. That's a small one. Get in here, woo! There we go, first cast. First cast, bait switch, dude. Bait switch, you just gotta switch the bait when it's not working. Look, he took a pincher. This was the small guy. So there's two bigger, it looks like females, and then this was the male. And again, I don't even see the bed, but I just, they're freaking out. So that's the first fish, that's the first fish on the new flare rod. But I gotta catch a flare fish on the flare rod, right? That's, that's a must have. So we're gonna put this guy back. Hopefully he doesn't tell his friends what just happened to him. See if I can catch the big ones. See you, buddy back in the water all right well that's good i don't i don't know if i've ever called a shot like quite like that in my life that was the first cast and i didn't hardly even have to move it that's just the difference when you when you make a bait switch that's the difference going from a senko which again is my go-to bait pretty much at all times when it's not working when they're not reacting on it find something that'll piss them off something that has more action something that's more loud Anything like those, anything like that will will cause a uh, a cause reaction strike. So we're gonna see if we can catch the big mama. I don't see him yet. Oh, I see him now. I see the two big mamas. That male that I just caught is nosing on it. Don't go for it again. Oh, here comes the female. She don't like it. She don't. Oh, don't. Come on, come on. Give it a little dangle. Some LFG action going on here. Give it a little dangle. Oh, the male almost ate it again. Oh, they took off. They, they, they said, no, we don't want, we saw what just happened to Buddy. We don't want to do the same thing, but you do. Trust me, you really do. You want to come along for this ride. See, I could get a, I could definitely get a better angle if I walked over there, but there's two giant snakes. They're two, they were all black and they're about that big around, about that big around. Let me know in the comments what they are. I don't know the first thing about snakes other than I do not want anything to do with them. Yup, yup. Oh, oh, she ate it. Right back in there. Act like nothing even happened. Right back in there. She ate it and spit it out so fast before I could even set the hook. Well, made a switch. Look at that. Chatterbait action. I didn't bring any swim baits, but I've got those craws, which we, which should work, I would assume, just as well. A little bit different action in the water, but my goal here is to cover some water. So I moved spots. Uh, that down there was where I saw the snakes and caught the fish. There's this big old canal like this, and it's just, it's a lot, a lot of it looks great. Like there could be fish anywhere, and it got kind of dark, or it didn't get dark, but the, uh, the water got kind of dark. So kind of hard to see the fish, so I picked up a moving bait. This is again one of my favorite favorite things to throw in and around the spot because when you can't see the fish, this thing just always catches them. So I'm gonna use this thing, kind of slow, roll it through these grass clumps here in the middle. See if old mama's hanging down there chilling. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? Yep. Okay, all right. I'll be there in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, thanks, bye. Well, that's it, folks. Um, my truck is ready. That was my challenge, but might go fishing once I pick up my truck because I only caught one fish. I seen it a lot, had a couple bite it, sniff it, lick it, but only caught one. So I'm going to keep going. Just got to go get my truck. We will stay at a mid-trip resort to freshen up for a night or two. So basically, I need to wash my balls. Okay, well, last thing you saw was me. All right. Last thing you saw was me fishing, and then I got in it. Actually, I was supposed to, I was trying to record the, the drive with my Uber on the way back, and my GoPro died like the second I hit it, so I don't, know, I don't think I got any of that. But I said I was going to go fishing, and then Rob called me and was like, no, I'm bored. You need to come to East Texas. So I got in my truck, and I drove, and now it's 9.20 p.m., and we are here. We're fishing East Texas lakes, like fishing like Lake Fork and those those types of things. But anyway, so I wanted to end the video here. Instead, I didn't get to go fishing anymore. Only caught the one fish. 
Had some had some opportunities, had some missed opportunities, but it was good. Got to try out the new flare rod, travel rod. As you can tell, it, it fits in the back of an Uber if you guys ever wanted to break it down and, and hitch rides. Uber drivers love when you go fishing, especially if you're like Peric and you put hooks in their seats. That's always a, that's always a go-to. But like I said, I will leave the link down below if you guys want to check them out. All of the rods, all the Guggen rods, all the six sticks, everything is back. Well, actually, Rob, Rob sold out a rod, but most of his rods are still in stock. Guggen 10, use it for like the next day, ends Friday. I'll leave the link down below. If you guys missed the sale, we do some sales every once in a while, but pretty much everything on the site will be sold out before you guys know. So if you guys want anything for spring or summer bass fishing, you need to get it right now or we may never, never have it for the rest of the season. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.